Hey YouTube, it's AdamX20, pretty late. I almost forgot to record my video for today. So what I've been doing is I've been working on the little macro bar for my software um, so we can load and save new macro sets. Um, basically, you know, if you have a, a set of macros that you want to design for a certain character or a certain game, uh, you'll be able to uh, just create those uh, save those and then if you want to make a new set you can the only uh, step I have left is to allow the uh, um, the menu icon to to be modified what I've done is I've replaced the new the excuse me the add macro button with a, um, a button that pops up a, a little menu and you can add a new macro uh, load a new macro set uh, or excuse me load a macro set create a new macro set or edit your menu icon. Um, so to do this, I had to create a new um, uh, little images for the the ad symbol. I was trying to actually colorize the image, and I couldn't figure out how to do it um, because I couldn't find the the uh, RGB uh, color list. I guess uh, I guess that's what it would be. Um, so I couldn't figure out how to modify just like certain portions of the color. I I wanted to if I ever get to if I ever figure out how to do that I will, but uh, I couldn't do it. So anyways, what it'll do then is um, you'll have three different ones. Um, there's going to be red, blue, and green, and then the original ad is symbol is going to be used for something else, or it's just it'll just be in there. And uh, you can pick any image you want. It'll um, scale it to uh, whatever size I'm using. I think it's uh, 36 by 36 pixels. And then it'll uh, transpose the little ad symbol uh, of your choice to the uh, the little menu icon. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, and then you can have you know your set is um, easily identifiable by whatever. Uh, character like if you want to use your actual miniature image you know you could you could use that if you wanted to or um, cut out a little piece of your miniatures or your character's face you could use that so it'll be an easily identifi identifiable way um, excuse me it'll be a, an easy to identify way that's words I gotta I gotta figure out how to say words it'll be in an easy way to identify which macro set you're using and um, you'll be able to just do it in game, and uh, it'll be no problem. Uh, I, oh, the other the other hurdle I had to cross is I've decided to rename all of the the macros instead of .xml. They now use um, .macro. They're still just uh, the same. You know, they're using XML uh, data, but the the file extension is .macro. And uh, I've created a little process so that if you're going to update um, into uh, this, it'll rename the one that you currently have and um, add a new setting. It'll do, you know, it'll be an automated process so you don't have to worry about little things like that. But uh, final hurdle is to um, just make that little dialogue. Oh, the other thing is they'll have a name too. You'll be able to name them. So when you click on the menu, when you click on the button, It'll post. It'll put the name up of your macro set, uh, whatever you want to name it as, and then it'll have all of the options. Uh, another way to identify which macro set you're using. But uh, yeah, that's the last hurdle, and uh, I'll get cracking on that um, after I get some coffee. It's nine nine p.m. <laughs> I'm I'm a nocturnal person now, but um, yeah, that's what uh, I will be doing, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, YouTube.